You guys are looking for something fun to do with the family this weekend. Come on out to Dominion Energy River Rock. Enjoy one of these beautiful kayaks. And there's really no better place to be. Truly was a shining light in the Richmond sports scene. He was the face of sports backers for years, known to many throughout the Richmond area. And as Andrew Frieden explains this morning, the Richmond Marathon may not have survived without Scott. Hey, good evening, Kurt Mikia. Yeah, things are definitely getting very exciting here on the campus of Randolph-Macon College, the home for the Division Three National Champions Yellow Jackets. I'm behind the the wheel of the forklift. Watch out, everyone. Now, if seeing those images and stories out of Florida inspires you to help, please give us a call right now. The Red Cross has been kind enough to staff our Call 12 Center tonight, taking your donations to help with relief efforts in Florida. 804-228-KIDS, give that number a call and help raise some money for these amazing amenities. Absolutely unfathomable news coming out of the city, which is just west of San Antonio. I'm here at Christmas on Wenhurst in Glen Allen, continuing our holiday homes coverage. The lights just came on and we're going to give you a very special behind the scenes look at all the amazing lights at this home coming up. Stay tuned. It's a bit of a sigh of relief for those living on the west coast of Florida tonight as Nicole of course has its sights set over on the east coast. In this box here we have a backpack. Every student that needs one in those five area school districts will be able to get one. Inside you can see that they've been stuffed with supplies from the volunteers. So things like notebooks, rulers, crayons, pencils. This is so cool. I swear my job just keeps getting cooler and cooler. Uh, Enzo and Jasmine, we're going to toss it back to you guys in the studio. Obviously these kids are having a lot of fun. What an awesome accomplishment. Uh, last time this team was in the tournament back in 2011, they made a run to the Sweet 16. You guys think you're going to make it to the Sweet 16? Yes! Hey, good evening, Kurt and Makia. Yeah, take a look. You can see in the photos and videos behind me that a group of people in favor of wearing masks in schools gathered tonight before the Dale District Budget Town Hall meeting. Their message, they say, is simple. They agree with the Chesterfield Education Association and have absolutely no confidence in the school board. Where's my choice? Where's my choice? On this frigid final evening of January. They say that they've given us a choice. They have given us no choice. Chesterfield County residents donned their hats and gloves to speak out in support of another accessory. Where are, Where are the masks? The they call themselves the Friends of Chesterfield Public Schools Coalition. And together they stand outside chanting. It takes a village, yes? Yes! yes. While on the other side of these brick walls, Superintendent Merv Doherty conducts a budget town hall. We can understand how some people can get upset about it. But upset could be a bit of an understatement for CCPS parents like Andrea Pip. I came out today because I feel like Chesterfield School Board has done a disservice to our children. She has two children in the district. To be quite honest, both of my kids are kind of afraid. And says in a classroom of 24 kids, her daughter Rosalind is one of only five who choose to wear a mask. I feel like it will help everybody feel safer and know that they have a less chance of getting risked by COVID. The Woolridge Elementary fifth grader tells us wearing a mask doesn't bother her. More than even you, it helps other people. And while some argue a mask requirement takes away your rights. It's my right to send my kids to school and know that they are going to be safe. Back on January 25th, in response to Governor Yunkin's Executive Order 2, the Chesterfield School Board voted 3-2 to two to allow parents to decide whether or not their child needs to mask up in school. The reality is, is that the school board made this decision in an unprepared and hasty manner. And now these disappointed parents are pushing for CCPS to reconsider and reinstate the mask yeah. policy. Now tonight we did ask Superintendent Merv Doherty about the Chesterfield Education Association's vote of having no confidence in the school board and he declined to comment. I'm on your side in the first alert center tonight. Simone Cucarolo, NBC 12 News. Okay, thank you, Simone. Hanover.
Oxford defines it as a feeling of surprise mingled with admiration caused by something beautiful, unexpected, or unfamiliar. This has been a dream of people in Richmond and the Children's Hospital Foundation for multiple generations now. A wonderful dream that is now becoming reality for doctors like Matt Shaft. When it's complete, it is going to be an entire city block in the city of Richmond dedicated to maintaining and restoring the health of children. After years of planning, the brand new 16 story facility is starting to take shape. Right now, today, we have 387 uh, workers throughout the building um, making this building happen. The project, which is set to be completed in the spring of 2023, is a collaborative effort between the Children's Hospital Foundation and DPR Construction. This is really an incredible place for children um, and your dollars are really going to make it even more special. In the spirit of this year's Radiothon, the organizations opened their doors to give us a special first look, taking me inside of the walls of the 500,000 square foot state of the art tower. This is the entrance. Yeah. Walk me through what a patient will see once this is all finished. Yeah. So right now we're walking in from what would have been our outpatient building into our new inpatient space. The project includes a level one pediatric trauma center and helipad ensuring quick access for patients who need to be flown in. So right now we are on the roof of the new hospital. We're above our outpatient facility looking back at our inpatient floors as well as our children's garden, which is three story glass garden that's 12 stories above ground um, with these expansive views that will be um, just incredible. Each of the 72 private rooms for patients and their families consists of three zones. One zone for the patient, one for their family, and one for hospital staff. There's going to be storage for families to keep their things. Um, obviously this great view out um, of the city uh, and you can see the raceway off in the distance. These are amenities Dr. Sheft says are unlike anything patients in Richmond have ever seen before. The bed is going to be right in here um, and you can see on the wall is where all the oxygen and gases and electricity and stuff that we need to take great care of patients right there. A tower Sheft says will truly live up to its name.